Hey guys, Michael Balecki here with Backcountry Discovery Routes. The BDR Keep It 100 Film Festival is happening October 24th, and we'd love to see what you come up with for your adventure films. Whether you're filming with a DSLR, your cell phone, or a GoPro, think about what shots look the best wide and when it's appropriate to zoom in a little bit. Here's an example in wide angle. This shows a big range of scenery. You can capture a lot of data here in the image, but what happens is the bike appears pretty small in the footage and the viewer doesn't really know exactly what to focus on. So in an instance like this, consider zooming in a little bit, really try to fill the frame with the action of the motorcycle coming up that hill. One other helpful thing if you're riding with a group and you have a zoom lens is consider capturing the group as they're coming up in wide and then for the second or third rider, zoom in tight and get a separate angle. This effectively lets you get two different angles in one shot. Most cameras these days have some kind of image stabilization built in, whether it's in the camera or in the lens. Here's an example of a bike coming down the hill. I'm holding the camera as stable as I can with image stabilization turned off. And you can see how shaky this is. This is something I would have to correct in post-production. In this example, I've got the camera set with image stabilization turned on, and although I'm hand-holding it, it stays pretty smooth and adds a little bit of drama with the subtle movement of the camera. Good luck out there on the trail, and we can't wait to see what you come up with.